Hi everyone and welcome to day four of the 12 days of Tilbury. Today I'm going to be doing the Glamour Muse look and I decided to change the um, format of the video, uh, shake things up a bit because I get bored. Um, so I'm not starting by showing you the completed look. I thought you could see how we create it together. So, um, and also I thought what I could do is swatch everything at the start and then get on with the look. So as I said, today's look is the Glamour Muse and if you look on Charlotte Tilbury's tutorial she calls this a kind of 70s look. Well I kind of grew up in the 70s, I'm a 70s girl so um, I do like this look. So it's the purple look. Um, so as we usual we have the prime shade, the enhanced shade, the smoke shade and the pop shade. Um, so I'm going to swatch you these. Now I have to tell you that this, although I absolutely adore purple, this is probably, if I'm being honest, my least favourite palette of Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and actually I do love, I love this shade. I love these and I think they really complement. Why I don't like it so much is that I was really disappointed by the pop shade. Sorry Charlotte. But it was so welcoming and I love purple but when you actually swatch it it's not very pigmented and you have to work really really hard to get the kind of colour payoff that she gets in her tutorial but let's see what we can do today I think um, if you really want that glittery purple look you might have to use kind of uh, glitter glue or, or something to make it hold which you know, it's not very good when you've spent money on a on a luxury palette, really. Um, so, sorry, bit negative today, but I do love the colours, and let's see how we get on. So, if I swatch you um, the colours on my arm, as usual, so there, I'm going to show you on my finger first, and then I will swatch on my arm. So, this one is a sort of very pinky pinky kind of champagne kind of rose champagne um primer for your lids then i absolutely adore this this shade which is the enhanced shade it's a lovely kind of lilacy lilacy top and i can't get let me try and move the camera so that you can see it a little bit better. Mm. Um, let me try it on my arm. And hopefully you'll see. Yeah, that actually shows you a little bit better. Um, really beautiful shade. I love that shade. And it kind of makes up for the pop shade. Um, and then we have the smoke shade. Which is grey. And again, it blends really well with the other shades so there's your smoke shade and then we have the pop so i'm just gonna wipe my hands and show you the pop shade which as you can see it, it's it's absolutely lovely but let's see how it comes off on the skin because it as you can see it really takes a lot of building up so i'm just warning people if you it is a really lovely look this one but um it did disappoint me i'm afraid and i hate being critical of charlotte because all her other palettes are lovely and this one's lovely it's just there's something wrong with the pop shade okay so let's get going shall we and oh I was going to, no, I was going to swatch all the shades first, wasn't I? So the next one, now, I've done some videos before with Love Glow, which is the blusher that goes with the look. Beautiful colours there. Um, but again, it's very difficult to show up on my arm. So I'm going to show you these. I'll do both. I'll show you on my finger. So that's the Swiss shade. And then that is is the pop shade so they're very subtly different so if i show you the swish swish shade on my arm i'll do that up here 
as I said, it really doesn't show up. And I've been doing this before. Um, and this one is the pop shade. Now, it does show up a lot on my cheeks. It's really weird, but it doesn't on my arm. Obviously, my arm's darker. Um, if you're just thinking about getting a, a cheek-to-cheek blusher um, and you're not looking for a look, I would say that this, for me, I would say that this is a really good one for somebody with quite fair skin and maybe blue eyes. I think that would look really, really nice and it would show up really well. I think when you go towards darker skins, it does give you a nice pink glow, but it's not one of them that shows up as well. Um, as some of the others, like um, Love is a Drug. We are not, we haven't got to that one yet, but that one really shows up. And um, Sex on Fire, which you saw um, in previous, previous ones. So, and then we have, me rattling on, then we have the lipstick, which is Velvet Underground. Beautiful, beautiful cerise shade. I love this shade. Pillow Talk, which is interesting, but it's very... She uses pairs it up with Pillow Talk, which is the lip liner or lip cheat, as she calls it. And then the gloss or the lip luster, which is Candy Darling, which she uses on its own for the day look. Um, it does look very nice on its own and it does look very nice layered over the lipstick as well and oh and we also have the eye pencil which today is the rock and coal in Barbarella Brown and I believe I'm just thinking now but I believe this is the first time we're using the rock and coal it is so um, you will see it glides on. It's very, very creamy. It glides on and then you've got a certain amount of time to set it before it doesn't budge. It is really soft, really easy to put on. But make sure that you sharpen your pencil after each use because it does blunt down very quickly. Um, but that's the beauty of having a soft pencil. Um, Okay, so let's get on with the look. So first of all, I'm going to go in with the prime shade, which is this one. And I'm going to cover my entire lid with, I can see I've got a bit of creasing going on here. Um, cover my entire lid just gives a really nice sheen to the eyes. By the way, if anyone's thinking the foundation looks slightly different today, it's because I had a very um, restless night last night and I just added a bit of liquid illuminator to my foundation just to give me a little bit more of a, a glow. Cheat some sleep, which I haven't had. So... This one, I do like this prime shade. They're all very subtly different. On first look, you think they're all the same, but they're not, the prime shades. So once you've primed your lid, I'm then going to go in with the enhanced shade, which is here. And if anybody watches other makeup tutorials, Charlotte doesn't talk about transition shades, but she puts this on with a blender to start with. Um, other people would call this a transition shade. Um, but I like the way that she builds up the intensity on both eyes. So first of all, you go in with the blender brush. And as I say, I'm going quite high up so that when I shut my eyes, you can still see the shadow. And then I'm going to go in with the um, smudge brush. 
and again I'm going to go back into this enhanced shade here and I'm going to nestle that to give a bit more definition into the crease of the, the socket in a half moon shape do you see how that gives a little bit tiny bit more definition and what we're doing is we're gradually building up the intensity of the look and again if you feel that brushes are dragging your eyes just gently gently pull it out like I am so that it minimizes the drag because we don't want drag a drag on our eyes when we're doing our eyes then I'm going again back into that enhanced shade and I'm going to very subtly line the lid and line the other lid and also run that underneath like so Okay, and so now I'm going to go in and build up the intensity a little bit more by using the smoke shade and I'm going to go in with the smudger brush and that's going to build up and I'm just doing a V shape in the corner here to build up that intensity <clears throat> a little bit more and as you can see it doesn't look grey once it goes on it just builds up the intensity of the kind of lilac in the in the enhanced shade oh, that didn't look very well blended I might have to blend this out a bit in a second or I might just do it with my fingers just try and blend it like a, a windscreen wiper I think I've gone a little bit more slightly in on, on that other side. So I'll just make sure they're matching up. Then line both eyes. Line this eye. Come on, blend. That's a bit better. And then I'm going to smudge underneath as well with that smoke shade. And the other side. I still don't know why this doesn't look very blended. I think it just went on a bit, a bit too much when I went to put it on. So, um, hmm. There we go. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to blend this out with my fingers. You can do it with a brush. But I'm just going to work on that with my fingers. <clears throat> right, so next we're going in with our eye pencil, Barbarella Brown. And I'm just going to pull this along like so. And this one. And then what she does is she wings it up at the end a little bit, which I will do just a little bit. And then you've got a little bit of playtime to smudge it, smudge out the pencil before it sets. So I don't want anything too harsh. And I'm going to do the same on that side. And 
smudge that out and I think what I'm going to do today is line my waterline with this just to build up the intensity oh, little crease that didn't want to move then Okay, so that's the eyeliner done. We just put the mascara on. And with this look, I would probably go, I'd definitely build up the mascara, which I'm not going to have time to do. Or even, if you're into it, putting some false lashes on. It's kind of the, the look that you can you can do that with. I haven't forgotten the, the uh, pop shade. I'm just leaving that until after I've put my mascara on. Right, as I said, I would probably build up the lashes a bit more um, or put some false lashes on. Now, I'm just going to go back in with that pop shade and I will show you. So when she does the evening look, she then covers the entire lid with this pop shade now I'm not going to do that I'm just going to put a t tiny wash of color but you can see that it doesn't really want to stick very well I just it's it's only the formula of this particular pop shade that there seems to be a problem um, all the other pop shades I have to say are really gorgeous and have got really nice kind of sparkle to them so if you can see if you just give it a little wash it just pinkens out that um, shadow on your lid but you really would have to work hard to get it up to that that purple um, shade that she uses on her tutorial I can get it to a kind of lilac-y pink like that but I really can't Actually, it seems to have gone more pigmented on that side, probably because it's now reacting with the warmth of my fingers. So it's giving me a little bit more colour payoff. Okay, so that is the pop shade. And for some reason, this eye this morning does not want to blend very well. And now I've got to go back onto this one because that one, as the, the warmth of my fingers is warming up this pop shade, it's giving me more and more colour. Okay, so there you have the eyes. And now we're going to go in with the um, Cheek to Cheek blusher. So first of all, we go round and we do the swish. I'm just going to tap that a little bit and as you can see it does definitely show up when I put it on my face but for some reason when I try and swatch it it doesn't want to show up which is bizarre and then the pop shade high up on the cheek and then blend that in with the rest of the the blush pop shade just pat that onto the middle high up on the cheek and blend it in and now to my favorite part so if you just put on the um the gloss on its own it gives you a nice pinky day look so I'll just show you that mm. 
it just kind of enhances your your own lip colour really. And I wouldn't actually use lip liner for that. But I'm going to put on the um, velvet underground. So before I do, I'm going to definitely line my lips. And then we're going to go in with this gorgeous lip colour, if I can find it. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. As you can see, it, it kind of all comes together at the end. I didn't like it until the end. And of course, I will take off my headband and show you my nice messy hair. Just so that I can squidge it about a bit. Make it look like I deliberately wanted it to look that messy. And here we have the Glamour Muse. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and I will be back tomorrow. I hope you can join me. If you've liked this video, please tell your friends. Please subscribe to my channel and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.